Hello, welcome to yoga. I'm teacher Stephanie. Let's get started. Sit forward on your chair so that your feet can be firmly planted on the ground in front of you. You can hang on to your chair. That can feel nice. You can reach back to grab the chair back behind you, or you can keep your hands close to your hips, whatever feels most stable for you. This breath extends one leg and puts it down, extends the other leg and puts it down. Get yourself in position to support that action. When you're ready, take a breath with me. Inhale, exhale, feel your feet on the floor. Starting with one leg, inhale, lift that foot. Exhale, put that foot back down to the ground. Inhale, other side, straighten leg, lift foot. Exhale, ground that foot to the floor. Again, inhale, one leg straight. Exhale, ground that foot. Other side, inhale. Exhale, one more round, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Keep both feet on the ground now, feel your feet touching the floor, inhale, exhale. What are emotions and how do we express them? You might feel a range of emotions throughout your day. They might make you think of happy or sad or angry, but there's also in between emotions and it is possible to have emotions that seem opposite or contradictory at the same time. For example, I can feel really sad about something at the same time I'm having fun. Can you think of a time when you felt a very strong emotion, whether that's something you enjoyed or something you didn't enjoy? What did that emotion look like in your body? What did that emotion feel like? Maybe what was your thought, your mind doing at the time? When we ask ourselves these questions, sometimes the answers come quickly and easily. Sometimes the answers take a little more inward listening to really understand. The practice of yoga gives us the time and space and practical tools to listen to our emotions and to be with them, whatever they are. Let's get started today. Sitting in easy pose, one breath. Come up to the side of your chair from mountain pose. Three times, sunshine arms, ocean breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, take your space. Once more, rooted down. This next stretch is called blown palm. Arms go up high, side bend, Grab the arm that's bending more. So on my stretchy side, I'm grabbing that wrist. Pull up, maybe turn, look at the ceiling, rooted in your feet, one breath. Back to center, shake it out. Other side, both hands reach up. Now on this side that's stretching more, reach, and grab that wrist, 
Maybe peek at the ceiling under your arm, breath in. Doing great, both hands up to the sky and back to mountain. Step out to star, one step out, two steps out, arms wide. Now turn your chair side foot, toes to face the chair, straight into warrior two. Bend that front knee. Knee goes right over the middle of your foot or right over your ankle. And just look at your back foot, see if you'd like to make any adjustments. Toe points out at kind of a right angle or a 90 degree angle, but you do the toe or foot position that supports you best. Look over your front fingertips. Two breaths here, warrior two. Wonderful. Now, tap your hips, tap your shoulders, Tap your ears, tap the crown of your head, open arms out, warrior two again. Notice, do you feel a little more aware in your body? Like the tapping maybe helped wake up areas of your body that weren't paying attention in the same way? We'll do that again in warrior one. Hands to hips for this transition. Soften both knees. We'll keep our lunging leg forward and just step your back foot out wider, maybe a foot width away. Toes turn slightly more toward front. Hips turn front towards your chair and bend into your front knee. Would you like to make any adjustments to your stance? Do that now. Maybe foot goes further out to the side, hands to hips, you can hold on to the back of your chair for stability. We'll start with that tapping, tap your hips, tap your shoulders, tap your ears, tap the crown of your head. Both arms now reach up to the sky. Front knee is bent, back leg is straight. One more breath. Hands to your hips. Soften both knees, step up into mountain facing your chair. One breath. Let's move to the other side of our chairs for the other side of this posture. Mountain, one breath. Step out for star, one step, two steps, Turn chair side toes toward the chair, bend chair side knee, open arms out to a T-shape. No tapping to start off. Let's see how this feels. Look over your front fingertips, two breaths in this warrior two. Would you like to adjust your stance? If so, take a moment, do that now, and then join me for this last breath. Now the tapping, tap your hips, tap your shoulders, tap your ears, tap the crown of your head. Reach back to warrior two. Does this feel a little more stable or maybe a little unstable? Awareness can give us both stability or instability depending on what's coming to the surface at that time. Hands to hips now, transition. Step your back foot a little wider to the side, toes pointing a little more forward. I turn my hips to face my chair. I bend into that chair side knee, and now I'm adjusting until this different lunge feels stable. Hands on hips, bend into front knee, and I can hold on to my chair back for support. If you like, stay here holding on to the chair or hands go up to the sky. Okay, let's tap hips, shoulders, ears, 
crown of head, awake and aware, warrior one. Two breaths, please. All right, hands to your hips, soften both knees, step up into mountain, facing your chair. Take a breath. Stay here. This next pose is called chair pose. You might have seen this one too. Step a little bit back from your chair and definitely hang on to the back of your chair. Shift your body weight into your heels. Bend your knees so they're going straight forward. How deeply can you sit into your invisible chair without compromising your feeling of stability and safety. Now, one arm can go out, kind of like you're pushing a cart. Maybe your other arm goes out to the same spot. Try, if you like, a different sensation, both hands reaching up to the sky. Stand all the way up, please. Shake it out. We'll do that again. Chair pose is a very static pose. It doesn't move a whole lot. So that gives us time to focus on the emotions that come up during chair. Some examples from me personally, I get a little frustrated. I feel kind of bored maybe. And sometimes I feel powerful. Sometimes I'm having fun. They vary though, so be aware with what comes up for you. Back into that mountain pose facing your chair, hold on, weight in your heels, bend your knees straight forward. Okay, your choice, hands come out in front of you, hands come up reaching to the sky, sink a little deeper. We'll hold here. What are the feelings? What are the emotions coming up? Like, ah, oh, this is so hard, or yay, this is wonderful. <laughs> One more breath, being with that feeling. <sighs> Push into your feet, lift all the way up to mountain. Let's take sunshine arms, ocean breath. One more time, take your space. Palm to palm, exhale. <sighs> Meet me back seated in your chair. Can you find mountain pose while seated? Arms go alongside your torso, just like we would when we're standing. But instead of feeling my feet taking my body weight, I'm feeling my seat take my body weight. Breath here. And from that firm foundation, reach back, grab the back of your chair, please, or the seat of your chair, or put your hands on your low back behind you. Roll shoulders back, pause here, breathe. Now, interlace your fingers behind your back and keep those fingers touching or attached to your low back. Roll shoulders back, look straight forward. And while this pose is a little bit of a back bend, it's mostly a chest stretch. Breathe into the front of your body now. If you like, you can take your gaze where the ceiling meets the wall. Three breaths, please. Release your fingers, soften your shoulders, and wiggle out anything that needs to move right now. Helicopter arms, arms out to a T-shape, 
This is a dynamic twist, just like the blades of a helicopter. Come with me. Nose points forward at first, breathe in. Exhale, take one hand to the back, nose follows. Back to center, please. Other side, exhale, nose follows. Back to center, please. If you don't have space to do it with your arms fully extended, bend your elbows to 90 degrees. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Look over your back shoulder. Back to center. Other side. Exhale. One more time. Your choice. Arms extended or elbows bent. Breathe in. Exhale. Go all the way to one side. Twist. Back to center. Exhale all the way to the other side. Twist. Back to center. Shake out your arms, out your shoulders, out your fingers. Forward fold now. Either let your arms be a pillow for your forehead resting on your desk or table. Or if you don't have a table in front of you like me, Come all the way down to the floor, torso resting on your thighs, starting with chin to chest. Start to roll down. Everyone meeting in forward fold in a moment. Let your arms soften toward the floor. If you feel any tightness in your back, try breathing a little more deeply into the spot that feels tight. When you reach your lowest point, hold and breathe for three, for two, Head hangs heavy, last breath. Get your hands under you for support. Please roll your spine back up to seated. Shoulders come back aligned and head comes back aligned. Try this arm position, hands forward, thumbs down, crisscross, interlace fingers, down and in. This posture is called constructive rest. And there's a version just like this you can do from your chair. You can also do it lying down. So I'm gonna lie down today. You can choose to stay in your chair if you like. Unwind, and if you're coming to the floor, meet me there now. This time I'm away from my chair. I lower all the way down to my back. I take my feet wide apart and my knees touching together, almost like I'm making a little tent with my leg bones. From here, arms reach to the sky, thumbs down, Crisscross, interlace fingers, and bring my hands down and in. We'll be here for the relaxation portion of this yoga practice. Close your eyes if that's comfortable, or have a soft focus with your gaze. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Continue to breathe slowly and deeply. Tune in to what's going on for you right now. What can you notice about your thoughts, your body, your heart? Take some time to allow these things to come to you perhaps in words or images, or perhaps as physical sensation. If anything becomes too intense or overwhelming, pause and breathe.
In a moment, I'll ask you to focus on a single feeling or sensation at a time, whether positive or negative. Then, repeat to yourself, I acknowledge this feeling or sensation and now I can release it. Find your first feeling or sensation. Acknowledge it by saying, I acknowledge this feeling or sensation and now I can release it. Breathe in and release, breathe out. Now, find another feeling or sensation. Acknowledge it by saying, I acknowledge this feeling or sensation and now I can release it. Breathe in and release, breathe out. For the next few moments, continue bringing attention to any thoughts or feelings that arise for you. Acknowledge it and then release. You might continue saying to yourself, I acknowledge this feeling or sensation and now I can release it with each new feeling or sensation. We'll take a few more moments together and continue acknowledging and releasing any thoughts or feelings that arise. Our phrase again is, I acknowledge this feeling or sensation and now I can release it. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's take two more breaths together. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Before we transition out of this shape, Go really slowly unwinding your arms. Notice which wrist is on top. When you unlace your fingers, switch the wrist that's on top so you're interlacing your fingers the other way. Again, fingertips come down and in. We'll be here for three breaths evening out that crisscross sensation. Now, slowly unwind from these arms, unlace your fingers, wiggle toes, wiggle fingers, roll out ankles, roll out wrists. Please meet me seated in your chair again. Thank you so much for joining me for yoga I'm teacher Stephanie and I'll see you next time.